Sir, I have respect for the Honorable President, but also I sympathize with her because she had to speak on, on behalf of this government which has fudged on multiple fronts. So one issue which is raging in the country, but that is a holy cow for many of us. Sir, cow Gomada, of course, we would be trumpeting. But there is a bigger cow, holy cow, in this country. Yes. None other than Adani. Yes. Yes. Sir, you don't want us to discuss about Adani, the fiasco, the scandal that <coughs> is walking the entire world. <coughs> Sir, I gave three amendments with regard to this great episode. None of these amendments were accepted. Unfortunately, let me submit that similar amendments moved in the Lok Sabha were co-opted and admitted. Sir, is this body way away from discussing those cardinal issues affecting the economy, affecting the integrity of this nation, affecting naturally the goodwill of this great country? Sir, I would charge this government for the first time in the history of India. This government is using patriotism and nationalism for protecting black money. That is the charge I am going to make. They are making this as a shield. Sir, can you imagine a CFO of a company in the backdrop of the national <coughs> fact? Talking about nationalism, that his company needs to be protected in the name of patriotism. Can you ever imagine in this country? And please understand the gentleman you spoke about, the nationalism, is an Australian citizen, not even an Indian citizen. Yeah. Sir, this Hindenburg thing, I am sure that, I am sure that Yavadekarji, if at all he had advised, Adani, Adani would have bought Hindenburg rather than NDTV. <coughs> he should have gone by his advice, sir. Javadekarji out of the cabinet now no longer advises these people. I am sure about it. But sir, this is a, not a new thing. Please don't think that Hindenburg revelation is a new thing. Sir, before that, since 2016 onwards, there have been three exposes, sir. Three? You're a legal luminary, sir. You're a legal luminary. Three exposes. Panama Papers, Paralyze Papers, Pandaro Papers. In two of these papers, which dealt with shell company, which dealt with black money, there was explicit reference to a gentleman associated with Adani. What did you do, sir? Javadekarji, you have done what? See, you came to power in the name of black money. You will put it in our account of the Indian citizens. And I will tell you, as per the latest statistics, the black money stashed to the Swiss banks have doubled in eight years' time, sir. So now, if you want to fulfill your promise, please put 30 lakhs in the account of each Indian. Yes, yes. If at all you want to, yes. I mean, fulfill the promise. Sir. With interest. Sir, sir, I have an analogy, sir. I have an analogy. Sir, I am serious telling you. Please, I, I hope that the, I mean, the Congress members would not take objection to it, sir. Sir, during the 80s, there was a government which came to power with three-fourth majority. But the so-called charges of a nexus between a business house and the then government was at Waterloo for that government. Sir, history is going to replay again. <coughs> they should actually <coughs> read the writing on the wall. Mr. Adani, guys, Adani is going to take you down. Please take corrective steps. Even for little less than 2 crore rupee. There was an investigation by a judge in 1957 
think about the LIC shares in Muntra, sir. Sir, we have a great history of ensuring transparency and accountability in this country. Why is this government shying away, running away for the genuine demand of a JPC? Why are you? Javadekarji, why are you not instituting a inquiry? Nowadays, Javadekarji is seen in Kerala. I am sure that his chapel will burn out. A pawn seat unko chahi a Kerala se. Pawn seat. There should be a limit for this greed, sir. He is behaving like Adani there. Greed. Hai. Ah, sir, I will tell you one thing. He is attacking the Christians, Muslims here. Then he is conducting outreach in Kerala. Outreach. Kya outreach hai? He is climbing stairs to Bishop House in Kerala. And uska, uska deputy hai, Dada Mohanda Sakarwal hai. Yeh mera sala hai, Jija ji hai. Ah, sala matlak, Jija ji hai. Jija ji, ah, Jija ji hai. I am sure that nothing is going to happen. First of all, you apologize to Kerala. Itna badna bhi kiya. Ab lo Kerala ko. You have even called Kerala Somalia. Yes. You said Kerala. Hotbed of terrorism. We will never ever lampoon a state. Who said it? Who said it? Somalia. The Prime Minister said it. Yes. Sir, sir, just because, just because the three-fourth of those people who <coughs> looted the banks and went out of this country are Gujaratis, will we ever insult a state like Gujarati? Never. Gujarat? Never. We consider Gujarat as a state contributed to the great freedom movement. So please learn. And these people want to tweak. Sir, I have two more minutes, sir. No. Sir, I have, my leader has told me to speak for two more minutes. Sir, Sir Kerala, they want to even tweak the history. They want to even replace Mahabali, who is the god of, I mean, who, is the, who was the Maharaja of equality and peace, with Vaman in there. They want to even tweak the culture of Kerala. And do you think that you can survive there? No. Even, not even a Yinjo space will yield to Javadekarji. You buy two pair of chapels again and come to Kerala. <laughs> sir, the source of black money, sir. Sir, I will tell you, there are two instances. There is something called round tripping. Jairamji would be knowing now. Round tripping. They are taking money from the public sector banks, take it to the tax havens, it comes as part of the investment. Otherwise, an inquiry is needed. You know why? What if the fund behind the shell companies are source of money provided by the enemy companies, yes. countries? Yes. There is a possibility like that. So in order to ensure that our economic system is safe and secure, our strategic infrastructure is not hijacked by enemy countries, you should ensure the money that is coming to India is safe and secure, sir. Sir, I have one more suggestion to this government. If at all, sir, I will just wind up. Sir, you have retrospective effect. Last time you had interrupted me, so I will take one minute from you, sir. <laughs> sir, Adani is FPO. These people have been used their influence to make sure that the high-ended people have been put money there, sir. Sir, that was a lack of confidence in this government. Only 11% of the retailers put their money there. Sir, if Adani's employees don't trust them, do you expect the opposition to trust Adani? <laughs> Sir, 45% <laughs> was not subscribed by the employees of this Adani. And you want us to, I mean, believe and trust this business house? Sir, my only submission is that this government has to come forward with a proper inquiry to ensure that our economy is safe. Doctor, Thank you, sir.